Hello, welcome to Mr. L's audio revision guide. Today's audio is about Hobson's choice, and we are looking at text and context. The societal atmosphere of Victorian England was fundamentally driven by the class system. Society was divided into three main class groups, the rich upper class who carried wealth, land and influence, the growing middle class of businessmen and professionals, and the lower working classes. The Hobsons of Hobson's Choice are distinctly middle class, a fact that Henry Hobson is quite proud of in the play. During this time, the middle class was characterised by a valuation of the domestic and creature comforts afforded by their income, paired with habits of thrift and prudence to maintain their income. The play also explores the role of women in Victorian society. During this time, English society was undergoing much social and institutional reform, with a growing emphasis on modernisation after the advances of the Industrial Revolution. At the same time, Victorian society remained rooted in an articulate traditionalism and social nostalgia that valued proper decorum and traditional social conventions. The role of women reflected this conflict as they began to push for greater freedom and responsibility, even as, even as they were expected to maintain a traditional domestic role. The traditional Victorian female ideal was the angel of the house, who exhibited the virtues of patience, self-sacrifice and quiet suffering, while maintaining an expert touch on the maintenance of the home. The, this ideal role kept women as dependent upon men and necessitated marriage to legitimise a woman's place in society. However, women were gaining greater freedoms in other areas. Feminism was on the rise in England and feminist groups such as the Women's Trade Union League formed throughout the second half of the 20th century. Larger numbers of employment opportunities were becoming available, mostly in the service sector, through clerical or secretarial work, and a greater value was given to the education of girls. However, work remained the purview of working class or single women. The middle class woman was expected to fill the role of domestic angel, the silent partner to her husband. Victorian society butted up against the image of the new woman, who was generally middle class, depicted as smoking, riding a bicycle, reading advanced literature and otherwise rejecting conventional femininity. While the feminist movement was beginning to gain some traction during the late Victorian period, the average middle class woman remained subject to two traditional values of the gently suffering goddess of the household. For further details about the play, try our GCSE Revision Guide, available at www.mrlsonlineenglish.com. I'm Mr L, and you are welcome.